Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ships at sea. Press. I like using that intro. Yes, sir. Hello, everybody. Spring has sprung. Or spring hasn't sprung yet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is once again the collaboration of Nerd Generation, AK News. Talking about the MCU Future Series. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight, today, tomorrow, no, I'm going to kid it. Tonight, we're going to have the main topic, the Incredible Hulk. Oh, you can say the Incredible Hulk or the Hulk. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, from to give you the roll up and the lineup for this one, ladies and gentlemen, once again from Nerd Generation, the CEO and the creator of the Nerd Generation, he he designed that guy with the big hat. See if you guys watched the if you guys watched the uh, <laughs> videos, you know what I'm talking about. But ladies and gentlemen, Pablo, say twice a lot of people, what's going on? What's going on, man? Actually, I had the idea, and my and one of my boys designed it. He was so creative. But I'm excited for this show, man. You know, it might get a little bit uh, heated. <laughs> well, well, that's really you like it's, it's the month of May. It's the month of May. Everybody knew the weather was turning. It's about to get hot. And then, ladies and gentlemen, do the popular man. That's right, do the popular man. That means you guys are actually watching, which is a good thing. We brought him back. That's right, we have brought him back. He's doing such a great job. He's really. Pumping in a good kick in these shows. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> from Strange Sounds Radio. That's right. I got it right this time. Remember the last podcast? Ah, oh, I'm testing this. TV watching. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff. Strange Jeff, how are we doing tonight? We good, man. Everything is good, man. Uh, we about to get into the Green Goliath, the Jay Jaws, all the names that they gave him. Let's just get into it. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to direct this show. We're going to talk about the Jolly Green Giant. Some of the kids call him the Incredible Hulk, uh, Hulk Smash, Hulk, all the acronyms. We all know he's on lunch boxes. He was on my big wheel. Uh, we're going to start off, um, it's going to be a, like a little round robin. I'm going to have the three topics, and then we're just going to go and ride a horn, make this quick and simple, but it's also going to give in-depth dialogue to which I, I'm seeing people appreciate. Uh, the first, uh, A, and I'm going to direct it at uh, our guest first, A, MCU Hulk, the overall opinion Mr. Jeff Strange, what's your overall opinion of the way that the Hulk has been represented in the Marvel Studios universe, a la starting with Ed Norton and the first Incredible Hulk movie? Okay, you know, and, and thank you for saying the the first Incredible Hulk movie because I don't even recognize that Ang Lee, Bruce Banner, I mean, uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever wow. his name is. I don't even recognize that movie. That movie is just <laughs> yeah. horrible. Uh, Eric, Eric Banner, yeah, Eric Banner. Eric yeah, Banner, yeah. yeah. I know it was Bruce Banner, Robert Banner, whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, they didn't want to call him. They didn't even want to call him Bruce Banner. He was. They called him David, which is wow. <laughs> but anyway, like we said, we had the piecemeal back in the day. You took whatever they gave you. But go ahead. Mm, Your overall opinion. Um, I like Norton as the Bruce Banner side. Um, with what they've done with him now. In Endgame, I'm really disappointed because even when Hulk was, you know, sharing, you know, not not even during this the Doc Green era, even when he we share he shared his intelligence, he still would let loose. He still would get pissed off because he has repressed anger from his father and all that kind of stuff. You know, Thaddeus Ross teasing him all his years, calling him Milksop since Hulk number one. Wow, that, he, he brought that to classic. You know, that whole scene when he was like, Hulk, just go rampage. And he out there with the car. Rrr, rrr. And I was like, that was good for a funny moment. But I mean, yeah. his overall performance, like, come on. So you're saying you feel that they didn't stick with the archetype of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, that Stanley no. started with. And that's the matrix of the Hulk. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I wanted to see the Hulk that didn't stop until there was nothing but smoke. Pissed off. Angry kid, yeah. you know, like you will not stop me. I'm the strongest one there is. That Hulk I want to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the one punch, the one punch of the uh, monster coming down from the spaceship, pretty much set the bar in that first Avengers movie. That one punch where he literally stopped. That creature that was floating and flying, coming down, coming up Park Avenue. Uh, that's a New York thing, coming up Park Avenue. If you guys know New York, that's coming up town. But anyway, coming up Park, now, Park Avenue, he one-punched him, and he stopped him. And you can say to yourself, not for nothing, yeah, that's the Hulk. 
What? That's the hope. Yeah. Architect Matrix, that's, that's the hope. Pablo, overall okay. opinion of the MCU or Marvel Studios, the Hulk. Damn, I'm going to try to be real <laughs> concise, man. And it's difficult when you're a fan of, uh, like myself, and I'm sure you yeah. guys as well, of, of, of this character. Introduction. Bill Bixby, Lou Ferrigno. And I just liked David Banner as a guy that was trying to be just left alone, live in peace, while also find, trying to find a cure. You felt the desperation, trying at all costs not to be the Hulk. I liked that dynamic. I'm skipping over Ang Lee because Ang Lee was, you know, I felt excited to see the Hulk, like, oh, snap, they're going to really do this. And I was disappointed, right? Most people yeah, were. the Hulk dogs. Yeah. Um not to say anything bad about um, Ed Norton's Incredible Hulk. I, they, I, that's my favorite for me. Because you can see the ferocity of the Hulk. He almost killed the abomination. Yeah. He was going yeah. there. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're going to kill him. He took the bone out of his elbow and put it... It was... Yeah. Yo, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. You, got the, you got the sound clap. When he went Hulk smack, you yeah. got it. That's what needed to be done. And they didn't do it when they had the opportunities. I loved him in uh, the first Avengers and Age of Ultron, but when it, it like you say, Dre, it got hokey mm-hmm. after that. Yeah. It got a little hokey after that. But Ruffalo, to me, he turned into a sidekick yeah. and a comic relief yeah. type character. If we needed to bet $1,000 that Hulk was going to get his get back, you probably yeah. would have bet it. The Hulk turned into yeah. Goofy. They they disnified him. Yeah, I, I mean, I have wow. to, I have to agree because I mean, it, it just diminished. I'm sitting there like, okay, he gonna get pissed off. You know, we gonna see this epic battle. He gonna knock him up in the sky, chase him up in the sky, and then bash him and keep beating him in the crowd until he stopped moving. That's what I was looking for. But we got. I this, think everybody like, wanted a payoff. Yeah, I mean, we got. And you this didn't get the payoff. Dude signing autographs in the restaurant. You know, I was like. Yeah, that was, uh, wow, wow, yeah, what? Yeah, that's bad, man. Wow. I got to check my levels. My levels are getting crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> we turned this up, boys and girls. It's spring. Spring is sprung. It's hot out here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, real quick, uh, I'm just sitting back listening to these gentlemen's interpretation. I know there's a lot of interpretations out there. I see it on uh, Facebook. I see it on IG. Uh, but there is an overall consensus that somehow, some way, we're not going to say we went wrong. But what we want to say is it's not headed in the right direction for what the fans want. Ladies and gentlemen, my overall opinion of the Hulk is the MCU brought the Hulk to a standard CGI equipped. We now deal with uh, creating a creature that can actually live up to its previous uh, incarnations. I think Ed Norton's Bruce Banner and Hulk were perfect. The problem what happened with Ed Norton is he got involved and in conflict with the powers that be. Yeah. Okay. Ed Norton got into another situation, but no one's saying he was wrong. But anyway, we go forward. We mm-hmm. get uh, Mark Ruffalo introduced in the Avengers. But once again, because of the established characterization of the Incredible Hulk movie, you still have the fear. There was no fear after Thor Ragnarok. Before that, there was yeah. a fear of the Hulk. I mean, literally, if you watch the Avengers right now, boys and girls, get your, get your Google machine and, and Google it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, they were scared to death of unleashing the Hulk on that helicarrier. When he was just about to turn into the Hulk and he took a look at Natalie, it was almost like he was saying, I'm sorry, but this is about <laughs> yeah. to go down. I'm sorry. I'm no, it was almost now. saying, you better run for your life. Run for your life. I mean, and ladies and gentlemen, there's not so anyone in this audience that can say, when we first saw that, when we first saw that, we Thank were you. all scared to death. Because we knew, are uh, you dead? The only <laughs> one who's going to survive this is Thor. Thor and Cap might be the only ones that's going to survive. He's oh, yeah. going to kill everybody on that <laughs> helicarrier. I mean, it was almost, and, but then ladies and gentlemen, the fact that we're talking like this, what happened? What happened? Okay, well. We've said this many a time, many a platform. Yes, you can't have a two-hour Hulk smash movie. Okay, we you're understand. absolutely correct. 
You're absolutely right. You can't have that. But I think that this current character arc, I mean, this is not a Broadway play, but okay. <laughs> you want to put him through paces and, and <clears throat> okay. Okay, but it's time to get back to, am I, but I'm going to save this for the other end of the show. But it's time to get back to a certain point. Yeah. So I'm not going to expound on this. Now I'm going to go back to Jeff again. The last appearance of the MCU Incredible Hulk. Please give me some details between the difference of Infinity War, we crashes through Doctor Doctor Strange's home, and what happened in Endgame. And I, I know we're dealing with Professor Hulk, but Infinity War didn't deal with Professor Hulk. Endgame did. What, what, what was your What was your uh, optics about both of those? Well, all I was I was expecting. You know, they could have did Professor Hulk. Still, Professor Hulk got mad. You know, during the, during his comic book time yeah. in the in the comics when he was down with the Pantheon. When he, when he, when okay, he, like, that's a Peter David run. Yeah, yeah, that was incredible. I was like, okay, good, because I mean, I I still remember when the new Hulk came back and he was accepting through the Avengers and everybody was like, oh, he's a good guy again, yay, and everything else. And he was like, wow, people are really accepting me, but. He was unsure of himself his first out because he went at the leader and the leader was like oh i got nothing to fear this dude is thinking he's calculating he's a scientist he can't help it uh the, the rampaging child that was the hope is gone so i'm not worried about it but he learned that anger was his friend because i think some somebody put him to the mm -hmm. test i think it probably might have been captain america i'm not sure but I know somebody gave him his spark back and said, dude, you are the Incredible Hulk. You knock down buildings because you pissed off. You're supposed to do this. And that's what we all know him for. So I guess you're saying the appearance in Infinity War. Which which appearance which appearance was uh, bothered you the most? Infinity War Hulk or Endgame Hulk? I, I think we already know the answer. But go ahead. Endgame Hulk by far because... I went to bed one night and I tried to kill myself, so I put a gun in my mouth. And the other guy stopped you. And he, he spit, it, spit out. it out. So I'm like, okay, so where, where does this sign to do come in? That dude could be killed because his hand is still burnt by the Infinity Glove. Pete, I, I want to talk to you about the last appearance with obviously Infinity Wars and Endgame. Uh, go into, do me a favor, go into both movies. What'd you think about uh, Bruce Banner? In, in Infinity War, and then what you think about Bruce Banner in Endgame? In Infinity War, I like the beginning, right? Because they set for me, they set something up, and they didn't, and they didn't follow through. Okay, the Hulk gets beat. You like, oh snap! Then Hulk got beat up. Yeah, yeah. And he got beat up, and, and the way Thanos yeah. did it. Yeah. Oh, I think you saw for the first time ever the Hulk was handled. And to not give Hulk that opportunity to wreck him uh, to, and to make him go out. Come on, the Hulk in a sling? Are you kidding me? That's like the Wolverine in, the, in, in, in yeah. crutches. Yeah. What? The Hulk is in Yo, a sling. Did, did, His arm is in a sling. Did he have a cane in that? Are you kidding did me? Did he have a cane too? I don't know. Wow, no. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying. It just makes me think. I'm like... The Hulk was disappointing. Yeah. The Hulk was disappointing, and, and Bruce Banner was disappointing. I liked him in Avengers 1 and in Avengers 2. Mm -hmm. I had no problem with what they were doing with the Hulk. You saw the craziness in the Hulk in Age of Ultron. Yeah, they were still scared of him. You were still scared of the Hulk in Age of Ultron. Yeah, Tony has something prepared in space in case this dude went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the fear they had for the Hulk was like Gone. Tyson in his early years. Oh, yeah. It was like going to Tyson. I ain't fighting. You must be crazy. What? My opinion about the two appearances of uh, Mark Ruffalo's Hulk after the Age of Ultron, I think uh, Infinity War... When I first saw it in the movie theater, like everyone else, I, to see to see him being handled by Thanos and the Black Order in the first 15 minutes of that movie 
was somewhat a shock to me. I'd ne- I, I would have never, ever thought. <laughs> I thought he was going to kill, he was going to kill all the Black Order. I just, no, they just, you guys are dead. I said, you guys are about to get it. And, and, and then when, remember the first 15 minutes, and if you were smart, you stayed away from spoilers, and you thought, when Loki said, we have a Hulk, I said, they about to tear this whole ship. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then that thing was over in yeah. 10 punches. 10 punches and then a and then a throwdown. And you sat there, what the? And then, of course, <laughs> Thanos had to. No, but it was explained later. Thanos had the power gym. Oh, because I, I was sitting there with my mouth wide open. But the fact yeah, that definitely. him thou sent. The fact that Himdal sent him to Earth, we thought, like everyone else, I'm going to get a second round. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get over to Avengers Endgame. Um, we then get a second round, <laughs> and uh, he went through some evolution because at the end of Infinity That's War, when everybody was evolution because no, it all depends on. No, that was because that, that's not the hope we wanted. Okay, There's like but, six different Hulk personalities, and we got this bitch. Well, I mean, I would have rather had the Gray Hulk, but yeah, anyway, yeah, at least he was a gangster. He would have Joe fix it with a handle that. Yeah, fix it with a handle that. But the fact that still some of Pablo's quotes, even in Finny Boy, he takes the glove off, he puts it on this guy's hand, he gets him off, and then he's still cracking jokes. The only thing I actually saw him do brave is when Thanos actually appeared out of the space warp, he actually went at him in the Hulkbuster suit, which I'm kind of shocked and surprised because I thought you guys were neutering him down to basically, like you said, he was a sideshow Bob character. Like, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. Now, as far as yeah. Endgame, he played a role. I don't know who that Professor Hulk was, but I understand they just had to get it out the way. Now, yeah. they got that out the way, and like you said, at the end of the movie, he gets re- the Hulk, ladies and gentlemen, gets rescued by Giant Man in a collapsed building. Are you <laughs> kidding me? That's the, the Hulk. He's rescuing. All of Thanos' army should have been killed by him. I mean, and like, we're not talking hyperbole. We're talking comic book fact. The Hulk should have killed yeah. everybody. He should have I mean, decimated. I'm serious. Besides no Thanos. Them. But then you know what? You wouldn't have Problems. a movie. Yeah, but you wouldn't have a movie. I mean, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, he would have killed everybody, but it would have taken longer because he had so many. To, he would, oh, it yeah, just oh, yeah. Taken longer. But we could have guaranteed <laughs> them he's going to kill every single one of you. They never paid off the savagery of the Hulk when we first saw it with him in Abomination. That was a, that was yeah. a fight. That's what it was supposed to be. The biggest thing that they try to do for the for, for the Hulk in the end game, the biggest moment was I was made for this. And I guess that was his payoff day. Basically at the end of at the end of everything, Hulk was the one that br- brought everybody back. Okay. His will was strong enough. He was okay. Uh, he brought yeah, everybody. Whatever. Okay. I mean, okay. I thought okay. Thor was a god, but go ahead. Yeah, hey. well, he was quote out of shape. I mean, you gotta understand what, yeah. the, what the writers did. <laughs> the writers. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, uh, snap! The big Lombardo. It sounds like we hate the movie. It sounds like we hate the movie, but we don't hate them. We love the movie, but these little things that we're picking out is like you gotta think about it, man. He's uh, Thor is out of shape. Come on. Yeah, an immortal. Okay, the son of Odin, and he can't handle. Okay. But still, on on the on the movie business side, are they still debating with Universal for the rights to Hulk so we can get the movie we supposed to get? Well, that's the, that's still a cute issue, but everyone is saying no since that She Hulk uh, Disney Plus show has been greenlit. Because, you know, like with the Spider-Man rights, anything ancillary with Spider-Man belongs to, quote, Sony. Morbius, Sandman, uh, uh, J. J. Jonah Jameson, unless they, obviously, Sony's doing a share thing. Sony's not stupid. You know, they want to come out of this thing we're in on top. They don't want to start selling back. And since uh, Bad Boys, uh, Bad Boys made Sony some money for the first time in five years last year, Sony wants to continue staying on top. Small move, Sony, making a future deal with Marvel. That was, yo, Pete, that was a smart thing they did. You could have went, you could have went rogue. You, you could have went rogue. It could be that Marvel does have him, 
but they have no clue of what to do because Mark Ruffalo keep hanging around. <laughs> they don't want to get rid of him because he's a nice guy. They're waiting for the right moment. They're not telling Mark Ruffalo anything because he spoils everything anyway. At some point, Mark Ruffalo is going to get tired of Oh, yeah, of that's it. right. I forgot about that. He's like, oh, God. Don't tell him nothing. And then we'll get a proper announcement of uh, Solo Hulk films. MCU Hulk future. Uh, we're going to start once again with our guest. Jeff, what do you think is the future with the Hulk? And no, Excuse me, what do you think is? Because we can speculate on business moves all day long. Do you want to, which way do you want to see them go? Um, do you want to bring in Rick Jones? Do you want to bring in Amadeus Child from the books? Do you want the Hulk to go back? Or do you want the Red Hulk? Do you want the leader? Do you want the, the abomination? All the things that we still haven't gotten. Go ahead, Jeff. If, if they're going to do that, they got to go back to the beginning. They got to start off. They got to show the accident. They can't do that. They can't go back. They can't go back now. How do you go back that one character and the rest of the universe is still going forward? You can't do and that. See, and, and, and this is the same problem with Black Widow because Black Widow should have came out after Iron Man 2, but we ain't going to go into that. But um, I think they should bring in Rick Jones, Amadeus Cho, you know, because actually at this time, Amadeus is still like a teenager, but he's still a genius. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's so the he, smartest person in the world. So he, which, he in Marvel, definitely... which in the Marvel universe, that's impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Being the fifth smartest person in the world, think about that. Yeah, and I mean, as far as like all the you know all the original cast should be in there. They should even bring in Glenn Talbot, who probably will do something. Wow, Glenn with, Talbot. Wow, yeah. They should even bring in like he you know because you know he was the snitch, and yeah. they should bring him in. To some point to supply Thaddeus Ross with the formula to make the Red Hulk. Like that should that's the beat should be the end, that little cutscene when the credits start and everything else. Here's what you wanted, General. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that Hulk now. And then whoom, end of end of movie. Now, as far as like who they who they should fight in the first one, the leader, of course. And make okay, they well. got you want them to establish the lead yeah, the leader is missing in the Hulk's uh, Pantheon right now in the MCU. Yeah. I mean, not for nothing. He's not the only one. A lot of characters are missing. You're missing the leader. You're missing Zizak. You're missing... The you're leader. Listen, Bobby hey, 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 P, 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 you're missing Doc Samson, man. Are you yes. kidding me? Look at that. You're missing Doc Samson. What? Oh, man. Because, but like the Sony deal, you can't use them. You can't use them. <laughs> the Hulk, I think you can expand similarly with, you know, how you will with the X-Men and with Spider-Man. I, you can do stuff with the Hulk. And with all they've done in the past, with the, how they did it with Thanos and Killmonger, these, these, um, this, his role gallery, we have to understand their motivation. We have to have some, it, mm-hmm. again, like we've always said on the show, not mustache twirly guy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we we can't we can't have Simon that. Simon Boston can't have can't that. do that. You can't do that. You know, um, so if they go that route and really trying to expand, the Hulk certainly deserves it because he is a a, a wonderful character, man. Look how long Bill Bixby's show was. Yeah, on. He really People is. loved that show. Yeah. Hulk really is a great character. The one thing about the Hulk, everybody could relate to him in one sense or another. Everybody that's been picked oh, yeah. on in school and or something oh, yeah. like that, they were looking at the Hulk yeah. like, yeah. That's the yeah. reason people, you know, some of the people, people, especially people like me, ran the comic books for. Because there wasn't nothing yeah. to do. It was like, I'll go outside, keep fighting with these same stupid kids or whatever, or I'd rather be in the house reading comic books. And one of the great yeah. plot points with the Hulk was, even if he was just on a run, you were pretty much, you were pretty much interested in what characters he would run into. Who would be yeah, coming yeah. after him now? I mean, some yeah. in some of the books, he never even said a word. You were more interested yeah. in what in the plots between the villains and the I mean the, the and, and then the Hulk once again like Spider Man yeah. and the thing. The Hulk ties into every mythos. The Hulk can go super magical or the Hulk can go cosmic or the Hulk can go um mystical. The Hulk can fight the yeah, yellow claw. Yeah. The Hulk can fight yeah, the Hulk was one of those characters. He cross blended 
all of the platforms. The whole thing, my opinion, I guess it's coming down to me, what I want the future, I want all those things we said. I think the Dr. Phil Lunchbox Hulk, I think he's had a long enough run, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, you, you know, the whole thing is, okay, we can't have a two-hour two, two hour Hulk smash movie, yes. But this little run is over because I have other characters about to come into the MCU, such as Wolverine, mm. Juggernaut, Gladiator. Yeah. I can't have Lunchbox Hulk meet these characters. No. He doesn't win. That, that there Hulk is no will never fear. win a fight. I can't have this. I, it's almost like the it's almost like the Galactus cloud. Yes or no? We can't have this. That's not Galactus. <laughs> he said the Galactus cloud. <laughs> I can't have this. Once again, in an arc, a story arc such as Infinity War and the end of that, I can I understand on the production part. I can't get into everybody because once again, ladies and gentlemen, there's only two and a half or three hours in a movie. But I'm pumped. But I just think we, we always try to be professional and understand production of a film. And I understand the writers had to. And they pretty much blended everything perfectly. I mean, I'm sorry. I would tell uh, McFeely and the other guy, Infinity War was perfect. I still give Infinity War a five star. Infinity War is great. You can watch that thing yeah, yeah, over yeah, and yeah. over. Why? Because you, yeah. I tell the writers one thing. You made Doctor Strange great. As we can say, Doctor yeah. Strange, the movie was kind of boring, but Infinity War, mm -hmm. he just went off. Four went yeah. off. I don't know if, yeah. I don't know if they gave y'all free reigns. That is Ooh. saddening. Because before that, the Hulk leaped at Sertar, an elemental force in the universe. He leaped at him and was punch him in the head, and then you look at what happened. And the the, the uh -huh. quick thing you knew was political is that after he crashed in Doctor Strange's home, he couldn't transform anymore for that entire movie. Wow. I, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Look, the yeah. last thing I'll say, man, about Mark Ruffalo, man, this, I, I again, I honestly feel that they don't, they like him. And they're keeping him around to then let him go or Mark Ruffalo decides he doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. I don't think they want to work with him. All of us would agree that Marvel listens to their fans. Yeah. I think Pablo's hit it on the, on the head. I think Pablo hit it on the head that we want to go a different route and they're just going to let things currently fade away. I mean, that's the best route to do this. Honestly, I mean the the, I mean, the most exciting yeah. part, the, the most the most exciting thing that we've gotten that they've mentioned, but we still ha I still have this reluctance of Mark Ruffalo being involved in it is Hulk versus the Wolverine. I'd love to see that. Yeah, yeah but I don't want Ruffalo. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't want Ruffalo. But I want Ed Norton. Hell yeah. Yes. Now see, I just yes. messed everybody up. I'm sorry. Ed Norton was the best. He was. And no one was the best. Uh, yeah, man. But he can't yeah, get along yeah. with the powers that be, I, which, which I understand. If, if, let me tell you something. If Kevin Feige brought Ed, Ed Norton back, it would blow everybody's brains out. Ed, Ed Norton, Edgar Wright, Terrence Howard, they didn't know what this was. Had they known what this was going to be, they would have been good. They would have said, of course. They thought they were bigger than them. Ed Norton yeah, was. They, they were bigger than the, yeah, the movie. They were bigger than the movie. Yeah. And that's what got him gone. You no, know, he wanted to go hang. Like I said, he wanted to go hang out with uh, Terrence Howard. <laughs> you know, make the one movie, you start talking smack, and then now you ain't got no job. And th yeah, now you're outside yeah. the house peeking in the window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you got kicked out. I mean, Norton was really getting on Foggy's nerves, rewriting scripts. Like, wait a minute. Those guys are in it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, if an actor takes a guy's script and rewrites it, the credit goes to the actor. These guys are in unions, and they got agents. You can't do that. Yeah, you just can't yeah. do that. You know? <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, you're going, you're going to have yeah. to leave. You got to go. You know, and, yep. you know, I mean, Norton still, I mean, he, you know, he says he moved on to that, but you know, no, you have 
Bruce Banner down pat. And it's just too bad that egos and, and stuff. And as Pablo said, you guys thought you were bigger than the characters. And that was the problem. Too bad it's not, it's not done and practiced the way they do it at Warner Brothers. Basically, over Warner Brothers, directors, actors, producers, all bigger than the characters. That's a shame. But obviously, uh, Warner Brothers is not making more of a money. And yeah, boys and girls, that's what we are. The MCU Future Series, we were talking about the Hulk. That's right, Nerd Generation, Egghead News, and we actually brought in, that's right, Jeff Strange. Yes, sir. Strange Sounds Radio is in, and uh, we all have uh, speculations, premonitions, and expectations of the further development of the Hulk character. But the one thing that we, we all agree, we can't keep doing this what we're doing. Uh, Pablo, anything to say? Now, I've said pretty much everything I needed to say about the Hulk and Mark Ruffalo. Uh, I just want to say again, once again, thank you to, to those individuals who have been listening to the show, have been commenting. It, it, it's dope, and uh, hopefully you guys continue to listen. I, ha- I actually had a conversation with somebody new on IG, and we were talking about this very subject, and I told him, yo, we're doing a show on it. Check it out. And I'd like to bring in uh, Jeff Strange. Jeff, the last time we threw down like this, we appreciate all the stuff and the way you pushed it on Facebook. That was great. And uh, Jeff, we love these collabos. And um, I, I think you made a point, period, on how you feel they should handle the character of the Hulk going forward. But uh, any other last thing to sell the crowd? Uh, Hulk smash Ruffalo. <laughs> wow, that actually works. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tracy at Spivey4994. Signing out to all the friends and uh, all the peeps on IG, FB, and all the other places we go. Remember, we're still on this situation, but like I said, I got my money on us. Thank you again, gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, we will see you soon.